I just got back from the gym. I actually had a really good workout. I did like 15 minutes on the Stairmaster and then with a barbell and some light weights, I did a full body workout. I did RDLs, I did some power cleans, some like military presses, and I don't know what those things are called, but where you're like bent over and you do that. So full body workout. And on my way home, I spontaneously bought a plant. So I really have just been buying myself flowers because I just can't take care of plants. I used to have plants and either they would die or they would just get like filled with gnats and bugs and I would just end up throwing them away. So we're gonna give plant mom life another try. Um, I got this 12 centimeter ficus elastica robusta. So I'm gonna go ahead and repot it. I went to Walmart and got this super cute planter. Um, today is Sunday, July 24th. So let's see if I keep this plant alive. I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm gonna go ahead and replant it. And I got this from Callaway's Nursery and also picked up some planting soil there. They have lots of planters too. They were kind of expensive. This big planter from Walmart, um, it's eight inches, was only $12. So let me go ahead and put her in there. Also, should I name it? What should I name it? Comment down below, it's a ficus. Okay, I have my potting soil. <laughs> There's directions. Step one, choose a container with a drain hole. Got it. Step two is to fill the container, fill with container potting soil. Create a hole in the soil larger than the root ball. Loosen root ball and place your plant and then you add like two inches more than you water. So I don't know if I was supposed to buy like a thing to catch the water underneath. I don't know, but okay. Do I leave the hole open? I'm so confused. I think I was supposed to buy something to catch the water. I'm gonna leave the plug in and probably order one on Amazon. So here's my pot. Pot, I'm gonna fill with some soil. Should I, I think I should cut this open. I guess I just cut the whole thing open. There's no like zipper thing. I think it looks like it says fill like halfway. Looks like it's like halfway and then let me take this out, look for the root ball and then put it in there. Okay, uh, what is a root ball? I guess you just loosen this a little bit. I don't know, I don't wanna mess up the roots. Let me just put it in. Hmm. I feel like some of the leaves are like below the base of it, so I think I need more dirt. I'm getting dirt all over my floor. Let's see. Okay, I think that's better. Scoop this out with my hands because that's the easiest. Okay, I think I have enough dirt. So it says pat lightly around the plant. Let me make sure it's not. Let me go wash my hands. I made a pretty big mess, but I think I'm done. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Okay, so here's my plant. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> clean that up in a second. And I think I have enough soil. So it says add a little bit of water. What does that one say? Oh, water thoroughly and let drain. Okay, so I definitely need to buy like a drain thing to catch the water. I don't know if this is enough, but we'll see. 
I am gonna like do some research to make sure I take care of this plant properly. Um, I think it said it doesn't need like a lot of sunlight, not direct sunlight. So I'm gonna find a place somewhere in the living room to keep it. But I have this stool that's just kind of been there for a while. Um, I'll find like a better place to keep it. But right now, I think I might just put her there in the corner. So it does get some sunlight, but not a whole lot. Okay, this is heavy and I need two hands. Okay, here is my planty plant, all nice and repotted. All of those back there are fake plants. Um, I'm gonna do some research and she is going to stay alive. So I'll keep you guys updated on my ficus. I just woke up and my right eye is swollen. And I have no idea why, but I'm about to get ready and go run. I'm so sore from the workout that I did yesterday. I did full body at the gym. So I think, I think I'm gonna run a couple of miles this morning and then at nighttime go back to the gym or in the evening go back to the gym and do some legs. I ran two miles at 10 minutes and two second pace. So the total time was 20 minutes and five seconds. And then after I walked a mile and a half, um, right now it's eight o'clock. So I'm probably gonna go to the gym around like two or three to give my body a couple of hours to rest. And Monday is leg day. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and eat breakfast and then go buy groceries. Um, my eye is still kind of swollen, so I'm gonna buy some Benadryl when I go to the store because I don't know why it's swollen or if I'm having an allergic reaction to something. Okay, this had to be documented. I finally got like the perfect smoothie bowl texture. Look how thick it is. So the key, and I saw this in a TikTok, is don't put any ice, only use frozen fruit. Um, I did add a little bit of fresh mango, but mostly it was frozen strawberry and mango. I added some Greek yogurt. I splashed a little bit of coconut oil, not coconut oil, coconut milk. And I used, I'm going to start drinking protein powder again. So I use a Solani plant. It's in the flavor fruity cereal. Honestly, the protein powder on its own tastes pretty bad, but mix in with everything, it tastes okay. And I also added some Splenda. So I'm so happy. Usually whenever I use a Nutribullet, it comes out way too watery, but this method gave me the perfect texture. Quick grocery store haul. I just got back from Kroger. I got some frozen hash brown patties, some chopped white mushrooms. These are my absolute favorite snack or breakfast. These, <laughs> I cannot talk. The Chobani Flip S'mores. I got these vegetarian chicken strips, some more croutons, aluminum foil. Actually, no, this is aluminum foil. This is plastic wrap. I'm trying to cut back on my sugar. So this is half Splenda and half brown sugar. I got my Benadryl and my eye is not as swollen, but I still see a little bit. So I'll probably take one soon. Got my Flonase. I have pretty bad allergies so I shoot up Flonase in my nose every single day. Not healthy but I love this with my baked potatoes, the Olive Garden Ranch. I got some more rice and then a bunch of produce so I got mangoes, limes, Roma tomatoes, some jalapenos, cilantro. I'm gonna do like a taco salad bowl thing for dinner. Tortilla chips, pico, I'm lazy and don't like making it. So Kroger, ah, Kroger always has like the pre-made stuff. Black beans, also gonna do that for dinner in the tortilla bowl. Some lettuce, tortillas, sour cream, potatoes, and then bananas. I got every single color of the bell pepper, some eggs, 
And I also got some more water bottles and a honeydew melon. So all of that together was $93, but I had a bunch of coupons that I got from the Kroger app and ended up only paying $83. I like shopping at Kroger because it has the freshest produce. Um, and also whenever you shop, you get fuel points. So I get like 10 to 30 cents off per gallon of gas every time I spend money there. And honestly, my favorite time to grocery shop, well, during the summer, since I don't have work, is like a Monday morning or a weekday morning because no one's there and they're restocking fresh produce. So pro tip, if you can, shop on a weekday morning, not on Sunday. The day has gone by so fast. It's already 2.20, so I'm going to get ready and go ahead and head to the gym and hit a leg day. Am I the only one who, as I'm getting ready for the gym, I'm like taking my pre-workout, drinking water, but I have to put on some music and blast something to pump myself up for the gym. So right now we're going to listen to some Lil Wayne. <laughs> The lighting is bad, but gym fit. This t-shirt I got from Shein. These are some biker shorts from Amazon and I love them. They fit so nice. And then I'm wearing my Vans. Let's go hit leg day. I just finished my gym workout and I feel amazing. It's only 4 p.m. I've already worked out twice, had over 60 ounces of water, and I just feel really, really good. So day one of doing two-day workouts. Hopefully I can keep it up tomorrow. I'm gonna run in the a.m. again and then do arms in the p.m. Tonight's dinner is taco salad. I have my tomatoes, cilantro, jalapeno, lime. Um, this is the lettuce and then in here, I have some red onion, black beans, and corn. This is my vegan chicken strips and I mix it with some sweet onions and then I'm also making some sweet tea with Splenda. So super hungry. I'm definitely going to eat a lot today because I worked out twice and need the energy. I have never been more excited to eat. I added vegan cheese, sour cream, and some cilantro lime dressing and then I I can't think of the word. I squeezed lemon, not lemon, lime over it. Oh my gosh, so excited. So my alarm was set for 4.30 in the morning, but I woke up at 3.30 and couldn't go back to sleep. So I've been awake since 3.30, it's like 4.40, and I'm getting ready to go meet a friend in Fort Worth to run. I'm like kind of tired, but kind of not really. I felt like I had so much like adrenaline that I just couldn't fall asleep and I couldn't stay asleep. Um, maybe it's just my body is not used to the amount of workout that I did yesterday. So I'm going to get ready and go ahead and go run and then in the afternoon I'm going to go back to the gym and do upper body. Three miles done. It is 7.15 in the morning. The pace was a bit slower. We did like 12 minute average pace. Um, surprisingly, I'm not tired. So I woke up at 3.30 in the morning. We'll see if I end up taking a nap, but I finished running by like 6.30 ish. So I'm probably gonna hit the gym earlier today and do upper body. Update, it's 8.45. I feel absolutely exhausted. So I'm going to take a nap. I've been having an internal battle for like 30 minutes. I don't feel like going to the gym, but I need to go. But I already took my pre-workout, but I don't feel like going. Ugh. Day two of two days. But I was planning on taking a rest day tomorrow, so I think I should go to the gym. But should I go to my gym or my apartment gym? <sighs> I'm already dressed. I'm already like 
itching from the pre-workout. I just don't feel like going. I also hate doing upper body, but I did full body Sunday legs yesterday, so I need to do upper body. Maybe I'll do upper body and abs. Okay, let me get in the car and hurry up and go before I end up like taking another nap. Ugh. Y'all, I was at the gym having a pretty good workout and I ran into a student and this is the second student that I ran into at my gym. So I really need to get a new membership. Um, sometimes I do workouts in my apartment gym, but there's just some things that it, oh gosh, <laughs> making sure my address isn't showing. Um, my apartment gym is really nice, but there's no free weights like a barbell, squat rack, any of that. And there's some machines that just aren't there. So probably need to find a new gym because I cannot <laughs> keep running into students, but I just went and stopped by the mail room and let me open my Amazon packages. Pretty sure I know what these are. I've been wanting to try this for a while. It was like $30, but I finally ordered it. This is the five minute journal. So every single day, let me actually look at it. All right, there's a bunch of directions and principles. I'll read that later. But basically, every single day, there, there's a nighttime routine. Okay, this has a lot more than I thought. Okay, so every single day, you put the date. There's an inspirational quote. You write three things that you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, a daily affirmation. And then at the end of the day, you come back and put three good things that happened, what you learned today. Um, so I've been wanting to do this just to get into journaling and kind of like reflecting on how my days are going. So this is what each page looks like. You put the day, there's a quote, and this is just something that I want to start doing every single day. Okay, package number two is that I ordered this neem oil bug spray to prevent aphids, white flies, spider mites, basically to spray on that plant and other plants that I plan on buying because my biggest problem in the past was gnats and bugs and I'm just trying to avoid that. So this is a natural, it can be used on flowers, house plants, trees, any of that stuff, vegetables in your garden just to prevent um, pests from forming. And it's actually... <laughs> The label is like 0.9% neem oil. Other ingredients, 99.1%. Not sure what the other ingredients are, but the main thing is neem oil. Today is Wednesday, so yesterday or last night, I went to the pool with my sister, cousin, and friend. We kind of just like hung out, drank a little bit. Um, right now, it's morning it's like 10 15 i'm actually about to head over to my school to meet with a teacher and she's going to share some lesson plans with me and i actually haven't been to school since i think it was like may 27th or 28th was our last work day um unfortunately i have to go back to work next thursday so i am kind of trying to start getting things together so i'm gonna go ahead and go up there hopefully it shouldn't take too long um today i'm taking a rest day i may do yoga tonight but i'm not sure but i worked out well, I did a 5K Saturday. I worked out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today's Wednesday, so I'm definitely taking a rest day. Probably just going to stretch and go walk tonight. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything planned for today. I think I do need to film a video. But other than that, this is kind of just a chill Wednesday. I've had such a lazy day, but I just got this digital planner from Etsy. The store was called Good Mondays, and I really like it. It was $20, which is way more than I've ever spent on a digital calendar, but I kind of just 
really switch around a lot between like a paper planner, a bullet journal, digital, but it's just so much easier to move things around when you're able to just erase it and move them around on the iPad. So I'm playing around with this. I really like it. It's super cute and minimal. Um, I think I am going to like fill this out completely, but also add stuff to Google Calendar just so I can get reminders on my phone. And if I don't have my iPad with me, I always have my phone with me. This morning I had the most difficult time getting outside to run and this is why I hate taking rest days. Yesterday was a rest day but I literally did not do anything. I was super lazy, I slept a lot, I ate out for lunch and this morning was such a struggle. I like finally got out there, I walked a mile, I ran a quarter mile, was tired and stopped and then I was like no I need to keep running ran another three quarters mile and then walked like a mile and a half but it was like such a struggle i cannot take rest days because it really just like gets me it gets me out of my pattern of being motivated so yeah that was the struggle this morning um i'm gonna go ahead and oh keep forgetting to flip my microphone so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I've been posting Sundays and Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Central Time. Fingers crossed I can keep it up, but I am going back to school soon. Well, back to work next week. So I am gonna start posting more like teacher vlogs, getting my classroom ready and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. Before I end the vlog, let me give you guys a plant update um, because I don't know how it's doing. <laughs> Okay, here's my plant update. I have watered it like three times because I read that when the leaves start like going inward, that means it needs water, but they are still, they're still doing that. I still need to order a drain thing, so that might be the problem, but if you're a plant person, um, comment down below, is my plant doing okay? I just don't know if the leaves are supposed to, oh, I want the lighting. If the leaves are supposed to be going inward like that, um, let me know. Oh, I didn't even see this. A leaf fell off. Okay, that does not look good. That, this leaf looks like it's dying um yeah i'll keep you guys updated it's only been a couple of days and i'm already struggling as a plant mom okay i know i said the vlog was over but last last thing i just randomly decided to do my nails and they came out so so cute i used the Aprez medium round gel extensions and then i did one coat of each of these and i'll link everything's linked down below on my amazon under nail supplies this is a brand and the shades that i did this camera is about to make me mad not focusing um the number 36 and then shade 65 and the top coat i use is from gelish top it off and these nails are super super cute they're not too long um and they're just very like nude and natural this length is easy for me to type with anything longer i still can type but not as fast so last thing and i'll link down below my nail supplies i